Series premiere Sunday, March 26th at 9, only on Hallmark. Here with Sarah, who's looking bold and beautiful in red. Thank you. What thoughts are going through your head right now as you're getting ready for the big premiere? This is this is wild. This I, I mean I've never had this experience as an actor. This is my first time, and it's incredible. The energy is electric. I'm so excited to be sharing this moment with my with my family. The, this cast has become just a dream to work with, and and they really are my family on screen and off screen. The vibe today, everyone just really fits the role. Um, how amazing was it to? have this show on Hallmark, to have a rodeo show uh, featured at Hallmark. It's incredible. We are so thankful for the team at Hallmark. Um, we never in a million years would have imagined this would happen for us. They've been so lovely. They're so encouraging and they're so respectful of our vision and we just really appreciate them. Yes, and you, yeah, definitely. Just being able to tell bold stories with these characters is just fantastic. All right, I'm here with Bo who plays Cash. Uh, so excited for the premiere of this show. It, it really is refreshing to see. What was it like to play this character that had so many layers? Uh, it sounds a little trite, but it was a dream come true. Uh, actors like complex people, right? And uh, Cash is, is that and then some. So uh, I was really excited just by the character, but then it was in a, set in a, on a ranch in the rodeo world, which was really intriguing, and uh, it turned out to be exceed all of my expectations. Getting to play a character that has so many layers and so much going on is always so much fun because there's so much to work with and play with and so much to navigate. She's got, you know, a lot of grief, she's got a lot of hurt, she's trying to navigate and figure out who she is. And I think, you know, it it's really fun to be able to bring that to a character and find that within yourself and it was it was really wonderful. Now the character that you play yes. is very important and very central to the show to make it kind of what it is and all of the many layers that the show has. Yeah. Tell us about him. Yeah, Tuff's at the center of a lot. He was best friends with Valeria before she left. Obviously the youngest McMurray brother. Also bullfighting for Cash and Austin before we suffered that tragedy and the front man of the local band. So lots to do for me on the show. Tuff is definitely looking for love in all the right places in Canyon. And uh, it's a really exciting arc that we get to watch over the course of the season. I'm here with Tyler who plays Gus. Tell us about his character because we don't meet him until a little bit later. That's right, yeah. Gus Booker, uh, the character I play, comes into to this family of ranchers uh, working really hard to provide for themselves and to stay afloat. They have some financial trouble. And uh, my character comes in. We don't really know if he's uh, good or bad or if he has good intentions or bad. We know he wants to possibly buy their ranch. Uh, and that could be uh, complicated. And some of the other characters might not care for my character too much maybe early on. But, uh, but we'll see what his intentions are. I guess you have to tune in and find out. We have to tune in yeah. and find out. So tell me about that vision because it's such a refreshing storyline. Um, how did you guys come up with it? Um, well, I come from a very rural, small town, 50,000 people, and so the only thing to do on a Friday night was go to 4-H dances and, you know, go to ranches and ride horses, and so it's something that I grew up with, and I really respect and admire all the people from my community, the hardworking, especially the women who get up at 5 a.m. and, like, just do everything on the ranch, and so we just really wanted to respect people from our, from our hometowns and um, really make a show about families for families. We really wanted to write a show that, like she said, respected people from our hometown, but also told stories that, that, that wrote them in as real people, with rounded stories, and, and, and really told a story that, that, that showed them as, as real people. You all seem very close on screen, and it, it really does show. How close did you all get during filming? Oh, we definitely did. Like, none of us lived in Calgary, so we were really able to bond that way because we were all, you know, in a new city and we only knew each other, so it was really fun. We got very close. We were living in Calgary. No one was from there. So we were forced to hang out and go to dinners and float down rivers together. Sounds like a lot of fun. It was actually it was amazing. It was yeah. really amazing. And uh, I'd say this with no exaggeration, like we, we all really like each other and enjoy each other's company and uh, very uh, grateful for the opportunity to meet these people. Yeah. That's awesome. It makes all the difference yeah. when you actually oh like each other. Gosh, it really is. Because there's usually one person. <laughs> but there wasn't, right? There wasn't. We have a, a text thread that we're in now. Um, you know, there's a lot of scenes in the show that involve the family uh, cooking in the kitchen and and the energy and, and the freneticness is 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 real. What you see in the scene is is 
is how we are off screen. We would be joking in between takes and singing and keeping the energy alive. They did, yes. In fact, our actors are all, they would laugh and say, we're all reenacting like scenes from the show in our real life. Like they really are those characters. Yeah. And so we were so blessed to have them so close because I think it really shows on screen that they actually really love each other and our crew really loves each other. And um, you know, that just started from the top down. Everyone is so kind and so generous and we wanted to make sure to set that tone for everyone involved. And there's also so many scenes with live animals. What was it like working with horses and livestock and everything? It was incredible. So we shoot on a practical ranch. It's an actual working ranch. And so anytime you hear a moo, that's a real cow. <laughs> anytime you hear a neigh, that's a real horse. And it just added a sense of authenticity. I mean, our actors are all on real horses. They're taking riding lessons. And so it just made us all feel like we were really in this world together. I've been on a horse before, but I didn't have any like real experience. And so I got to go to Calgary for two weeks before we started filming and do lessons and like learn proper technique and skill, which was really fun. Uh, it, and you know, anytime you're working with animals or you know babies or children, it's you never really know exactly what's going to happen. So it really keeps you on your toes and it keeps things really alive, which is you know really fun. I didn't know anything before I started this show. Uh, I learned everything on set with the help of our incredible wranglers and our crew, who are very much in the ranch world and lifestyle so they were an invaluable asset to us while we were filming um, it, you know it's funny I, I have this this story with my co-star uh, Nick who happens to be a horse and he was so professional 20 years in the in the industry he would neigh and stomp and make horse noises in between takes and then as soon as our wonderful director Paolo yelled action he was Hitting his mark, improv a nose nuzzle on a particular emotional line. I can't wait for you all to see it. It's it's incredible. He's a real professional. It's so cool because you always wonder. Yeah. So these animals are just like actors and they're trained. And they're so well respected and loved and and they all have their own personalities. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> the animal, I mean, gosh, they don't those cows don't shut up. You always gotta hold for the cow. Uh, it was great. I love animals. I'm actually I want I've been wanting to buy a, uh, get a ranch or live on a ranch for many years. I've been riding horses for about four years now. Uh, I have uh, two thoroughbreds, and uh, so I, I actually set a goal. Of, I, I want to get on a show that's about or, you know centered around horses. And then here there you go. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty cool.